Hello, Crossroads friends and family, and welcome to Going Deeper, this Friday edition as we sort of turn the page on our All in Your Head series, and hopefully you have had a chance to apply some of the truth that we've learned about how to renew our minds uh, together. I wanted to end uh, this, this week by going back to Romans chapter 8, where um, in week two of this series, we, we talked a little bit about this, but the idea of uh, going over in your mind and, and planting truth that will destroy uh, the strongholds that the, the enemy of our faith uh, wants to plant in our minds um, is, is so important. And nowhere better, probably, than this chapter of Romans where the Apostle Paul just unloads uh, truth after truth after after truth. So uh, let me read a, a select few verses from uh, chapter 8, starting at the very beginning, and then I'll, I'll, I'll pick and choose down through here, and, and we'll, uh, we'll apply to, to our lives, to our minds, these truths. Starting with this, Therefore there is now no condemnation. For those who are in Christ Jesus. How much? None. No condemnation. If there is condemnation, it is coming from somewhere else. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Verse 18. I consider, I, I think about, that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. That there is no comparison between what's happening now in our circumstances to what is happening in us and will be revealed in us forever. Keep going, verse 28. And we know, we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. A great truth. But notice it says, in all things. And so all things will happen to people who are followers of Jesus. All kinds of things, not just good things. But in all things, God is still at work. Verse 31, what then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? If God is for you, do you believe God is for you? That's a truth. If you're not sure... That's a lie. If God is for us, who can be against us? Verse 35, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword or COVID or anything else? No, nothing can separate you from the love of Christ. And so now hear this great declaration, verses 37 through 39, no. In all of these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I'm convinced. I've thought it out. I have written it, confessed it, prayed it until I believe it. That neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor demons, neither the present, nor the future, nor any powers, neither height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. God, help us to uh, let these truths uh, sink down deep in, in inside of us, that they would replace the ruts of the lies of the enemy and that we would be free uh, to experience your joy and your life that you have died to give us. Thank you, in Jesus' name, amen. God bless. Stay connected.